Okay, welcome back to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial Part 11. In this part, we're going to be working on some of the gameplay elements. So, so far what we've got, if I go ahead and run this, is we've got a basic system where we can fly around, we can shoot the enemies, we can collide with the enemies, and all those things are working, but it's not really a game yet, it's just, it's just a demo of the physics, really. Um, so if I shoot it, you know, it just disappears. But we notice we have the health meter, so let's go ahead and do some stuff with the health and, and see what we can do to get this game to actually work like a game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the part we've already created. And I'm going to say... So we, we already talked about the collisions. So if the sprite is an enemy and it collides with the player, uh, we could do that. But let's do what happened. Let's do shooting the enemy first. I think that's a bit more interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. So when I shoot the enemy, think about it. What happens to the enemy? So I'm going to the enemy's health is going to go down. So I'm going to say sprite dot health. Is it health? Yeah. Minus equals. And let's just do ten for now, just to make it easy. So let's see what happens. That's a very simple change. So let's go ahead and run that and see if it does what I want it to do. Oops. Oops. Okay, just I don't know if you can see it, but it's going down. Oops. Okay, see it's going down. Now it's gonna take a while because it's a the health is a hundred, but so you can see now I can shoot it and it's very hard to kill actually um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the uh, I'm gonna go to the enemy and I'm gonna make its default health okay uh, self dot health self dot max health and this is something we'll, we'll be able to change when we change levels let's say let's make it oh 15 well I'll make it 30 well mm, let's, get it. let's make it 20 so you gotta shoot it twice um, and then self dot health equals 20. I start off the health that equals self dot max health. Okay, so that's all, that'll be our default for now. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot this guy. And let's see. So remember, it's max health is 20. We're taking away 10. Okay, so it went down and... Okay, I missed it somehow. Uh, I hope my collisions aren't off. Okay, so now its health is down to zero, I believe. Now it's into negative territory. <laughs> so we got to fix that. Okay, so what do we want to happen when an enemy's health gets below a certain level? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and borrow, how can I say? I'm going to borrow the update method from the sprite class. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and put that into the enemy class. Because what we have to do with it now is we also have to check its health now. Okay, so watch what, watch what I do here. It doesn't matter when I do it, but I can do it here. So check health. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to say if self.health is less than or equal to zero, and what I could do here, I'm going to try this. I'm going to say self dot equals none. I'm not sure if that's going to work. I'm going to try it. That's my that's my that's my guess. And we'll see if that that does what I needed to do. Uh, and that did not do what I needed to do. All right. Well, live and learn. Uh, I thought that would destroy it. But what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do self dot reset. And I'm going to have to make a reset method def reset self and I'm just going to say self dot we can just move it actually it doesn't really matter what we do is probably what we're going to actually need to do is self dot we're going to have to give it a state equals I'm going to call it inactive and that's the same thing as being dead so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my sprite class and I'm just going to give them all a, diff, a state so sprite self.state equals active. 
Okay. Now remember, the missile has different states, ready and I think active, or ready and fire, I can't remember what we did. Um, so, because it, it sometimes isn't active. It has ready and active, okay? So what I'm gonna do with my enemy sprite is I'm gonna change its state to inactive. So if it is inactive, I don't wanna do anything with it. So in my update method, I'm gonna say if self dot state equals active. So if it's active, then I do all these things. If it's not active, I just ignore it. Same thing with render. Okay, so I go up to my render, render here. If self dot state equals active, then we render it. Otherwise, we're not gonna render it. So that'll, that'll keep it off the screen. Uh, so we don't see it. And then we also, there's a couple other things we gotta, we gotta think about these. There's maybe a more elegant way to do it, but um, maybe not. So if it's an enemy and the sprite.state equals active. So we gotta do a check here because we don't wanna collide with sprites that are not no longer active. Now we could, again, I could have taken them out of the list or done stuff like that, and we will once we change levels. So I thought this might be an easier way to do it. So let's test that and see if that works. We've got an error, uh, line 271, I forgot the quotation mark. Uh, 271, you guys probably saw that. Let's go ahead and run it. And let's see if we can shoot this person. Okay, and now it is gone. So at this point, what should happen, hopefully you're saying to yourself is, well, why can't I go to the next level? Because we haven't programmed it. So what I'm gonna have to do here is, it doesn't matter where exactly I put it. Um, I can put it you know, down here or wherever, but I just gotta put it in this main loop. So check for end of level. So what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna put end of level equals true. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assume that it is the end of level. And so what I do now is go through for sprites, in sprites, okay? and I'm gonna look for an active enemy. So I'm gonna say if sprites, uh, sorry, I'll say if, if is instance, sprites, if it's an enemy, and, and how can I say that? It's active, sprite, sprite.state equals active, say end of level equals false, because as long as there's one enemy sprite, the level is not done. End of level equals false. Okay. So what I gotta do at this point, now at this point I can do I could do break and get out of this, but we'll, we'll just worry about that. we won't worry about that. So then I say if end of level. So if the end of level is true, that means I've killed all the act all the active enemies are gone. If end of level, then I'm gonna say game dot level plus equals one. We add one to the level, and then game dot uh, what do I call it? Start level? Yeah. Okay, so let me explain that real quick once again. So what we do is we assume that the, the level is over. But all we have to do is find one sprite, one enemy sprite that's still active. Okay, so if we find an enemy and that enemy is active, then we know it's not the end of the level. So the end of the level is false. Okay, so we go through and we look. Now, if we are at the end of the level, so if that's true, we add one to the level and then we start that level. Let's see if that works. Okay, there we go. So now we actually have functioning levels. That, that's pretty cool, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, that's one, Let's see if we can get to level three. Okay, so we can, so you can see how the game now is getting more complex. And the thing is like, we could do anything at that, 
at that border of the game. We could do we could change the size of the, the uh, arena. We could add speed. There's, there's all kinds of stuff we could do at this point. But you can see now how uh, we actually have kind of a functioning game at this point, sort of. Uh, we haven't dealt with the power-ups and all that sort of thing. But you see what we did there. So let's just kind of do a quick review of that. And I'm going to call this gameplay, uh, you know, killing enemies. You know, gameplay. I say I was going to gameplay enemies. How's that? So that's what we'll call that one. And so just, just a quick review. Uh, again, you might want to watch this just to make sure you know what's going on. Just to, all the different little things that we changed. So in the play or in the enemy class, we recreated the update method. We checked if the state was active or not. And if it was active, then we updated it. And we also in our sprite class, we only render something if it's active. Okay, so we don't we don't render a ready missile, we don't render an inactive sprite, we only render something if it's active. Okay. Um, and then we use the health. Okay, so every time the missile hit it, we subtracted 10. Now we could also give the missile some strength, and then that's something we could do. We could level up later in the game. But for now, we'll just keep it at this. And we just remove the health. And that's all we have to do here, is just lower the health. And then we let the update method for the enemy deal with the health. You know, all we have to do is if the health is less than or equal to zero, we reset it and we set it state to active. Now I could have just put self.state equals inactive here, but we might want to do some other things here later and now, so we'll keep it consistent. Okay, so thanks for tuning in. Keep on coding. Subscribe for updates.